Hey everyone, Ryan, Scheller Family Experience. I'm here with a 2022 KLX 110. Uh, this is the clutch version, but they're pretty much all the same. So what we're gonna do is a quick oil change. We just hit five hours. It is recommended that you do your first oil change at five hours. And then after that, it's about every 50 hours. Um, in fact, on the next oil change, you don't even have to do the filter, but as cheap as they are, probably will do it anyways. Now, I did order two filters. I ordered the Tusk filter and the uh, K&N filter. I like the K&N filter. I looked down inside of it. It's got a bigger hole down on the inside. So what I'm guessing is you get a little bit more oil flow through there versus the Tusk one. Uh, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but if you look down inside, The inside hole there where oil might flow through there, I'm guessing one's a little bit bigger, so a little bit more oil flow. So I'm gonna run the K&N. Tools, 17 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and an eight millimeter. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the skid plate off. I'm gonna get the skid plate off, and then I'm gonna warm the bike up. That way I'm not working on that skid plate uh, with the hot exhaust, things like that. So get the skid plate off first, couple eight millimeter bolts and a 12 millimeter and then um, I'll heat it up and then drain that oil out so it's all nice and smooth comes out a lot easier when the bike is warm your left side is a little bit longer then your right side. So just keep that in mind when you go to put them back on. Skid plate's all off, pretty easy, comes off quick. Now we're gonna get it started, warm up that oil. Got the bike all nice and warmed up. First thing I'm gonna do is take this cap off right here. That is where you're gonna be putting oil in. Next up, we're gonna take our 17 millimeter, pop loose the drain plug. Remember, that oil's gonna be hot coming out of there, so just be careful. One thing I did here, tilt the bike up, get the bike straight and flat, get all that oil out of there. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean that off before I put my drain plug back on. So I'm just gonna snug this up. I'll put the torque spec right here. Okay, next up, let's get this uh, filter off. Eight millimeter. There's the old filter right there. Pretty dirty, actually. All right, I'm gonna get this all nice and cleaned up, clean the surface off. I already cleaned up the oil filter housing. You'll notice there's a little spring in there. So you wanna make sure you don't lose that. All right, so that filter is gonna sit right on that little piece right there. You can see right there with the O-ring. You could always take, just kinda, Put a little oil on that. It's gonna sit just like that. Then you've got your housing that's gonna go back on. It's gonna push into it. Now, I am a little bit of a 
Loctite freak. So I did put a little dab of Loctite on these. While I'm under here, go ahead and get this uh, skid plate back up. Again, the shorter one goes on the right side. I did put a little bit of Loctite in that. Got everything all buttoned up underneath, got skid plate back on, filters in, everything's ready to go. It's time to put some oil in it. Now I run the Maxima product, I run the Sinblend in all my four stroke uh, stuff. So it's a 1040, um, semi-synthetic. And what this takes is one liter of oil, which is right around, I think 33.8 ounces. So if you're going by ounces, on one of these, um, you can use that. Now, there is a glass on the side so that you can, an inspection glass, so you can see there's different levels. There's a high level oil mark and a low level mark. I'm gonna show you right here. So once we put that oil in, then we'll check that to see where our level is. I just put about 32 ounces in, so I'm gonna check the glass on the side, see where we're at. So it's kind of hard to see just cause it's kind of dark right there, but it looks like I'm just about below the high oil mark. So I'm gonna leave it right there. I think that's a good spot to be. One thing you're gonna wanna do is start the bike, get that oil circulating into the filter and that filter housing and then recheck it on the glass and see where your level's at because that's gonna take up some of the oil that you put in there and you may need to top it off. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you hit like, hit subscribe if this was helpful. Leave us a comment. There is a link in the description to the filter, uh, the K&N filter that I ran, uh, the Tusk one you can get of course on Rocky Mountain if you would choose to run that one. Um, same with the Sinblend oil that I run. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.